hello friends uh, in this video we are going to learn some of the autocad commands and tricks which are very important uh, in order to work faster on autocad so the first command is align and scale so as you can see here i have one survey layout here and uh, my this is my building outline so as you can see my layout is in a different angle so i have to uh, align my building in the layout so I can do it with the align command so type align a l i g n or you can just type a l give enter select the object and click first point here and here okay select second point here and then click here give enter twice one two so uh, my building is aligned with the front line of the uh, setback okay so sometimes uh, when you want to scale the object along with the alignment you can do that uh, with the same command let's see one more example if you see here I have beam layout here and uh, I need to place this cutout inside this beam layout and I also want to scale it so that it uh, the cutout is from this beam to this beam okay so just give the align command align select the object click this end click it here click this end and click the point here now give enter now it will ask scale object based on the alignment points you give yes or just y and give enter so your uh, cutout is aligned as well as scaled uh, so the next thing is uh, what to do when the fillet does not work okay so if you can see here uh, i'll just give fillet with the zero radius the radius is zero here so if i give fillet like this it is a perfect fillet sometimes what happens is if you give fillet it gives one uh, comment here see if you can see in the command line lines are not coplanar uh, what it means is these two lines uh, are not in the same elevation when you are uh, drawing something on a 2d drawing uh, you should have only the x and y coordinate values when it has a third or uh, the z coordinate value it will be in a 3d that means the these two lines are in different elevation that's why it cannot fill it so you can find out here just click this and uh, enter m o that's modify command and see the property here the first line is in proper elevation that is zero elevation z value is zero here all three z values are zero if you check the second line you can see here it has got a different elevation z z and z in two places it has got different elevation so what you have to do is just click here and give zero okay click here and give zero now both the lines are in same plane now try to give fillet command fillet enter fillet okay now it is done the next command is uh, find and replace uh, this is a very very important command because uh, uh, most of the times you face this uh, issue where you have many text and uh, you don't have time to edit and change each and every text uh, with the find and replace command you can change the entire text within with one command okay so if you see here i have more than uh, 200 beams here and if you want to change the beam notation from b uh, to pb or rb uh, it will take a very long time to change 200 beams editing one by one so instead of that with the find and replace you can change it within uh, just what one command Okay, let's see type find f i n d okay now 
a type b which you want to change uh, you want to change it with the pb okay so now don't select the entire drawing just select your layout because if you select entire drawing it will take a lot of time to select the entire drawing. just select manually and uh, give replace all okay so it has replaced 149 objects okay just close you see uh, all the bins are changed to pb next i'm going to tell you how to change the crosshair size the di display color etc so you can see here i have a full screen crosshair but uh, some people get irritated with the full screen crosshair so if you want to change it to smaller compact one just type op that is option command okay you can see here under the display tab there is a crosshair size you can just adjust the slider and see how much you want you apply and you okay see now the crosshair is very small if you want if you still want smaller you can just give option and still reduce it apply okay so this will be very convenient to work with and uh, in that same option command you can uh, even change the display color see here the colors just click here uh, you can uh, see the interface if you want to change the background color or if you want to change the crosshair color there are so many options here so you want to change the background color you can select the interface and change the color here so now the background color is white if you want to change it to black just select black you apply and close apply so now the background is black okay uh, the last and uh, final trick is how to remove the uh, plot stamp okay if you if i give print if i see the preview as you can see here there is a plot stamp produced by an autodesk educational product uh, this will come when you take a printout of this layout so if you don't want that plot stamp you can uh, remove it very easily but i would suggest uh, you don't use this command if you're using the autocad for commercial use if you're using it for commercial use please buy the original product uh, if you're using for uh, a college project or uh, personal use then only use this command okay so let's see how to remove it uh, to remove it just give command dxf out okay and type enter okay now uh, save the dxf file somewhere i am saving it on my desktop okay desktop now give save okay now give dxf in the command is dxf in you enter uh, now select the same file it is in my desktop this is the dxf file select that file and give open okay so now try to view the printout control p the plot stamp has gone okay i hope you liked my video and uh, if you like my video please uh, click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you very much